All right, shallow one. All right, the title of this, this one be the true meaning of songs in the Bible. The true meaning of songs in the Bible. All right. And when you look up that word songs, all right, in the Hebrew, it means listen and repeat. Okay. And as we know, you know what I'm saying? When we do all the Bible, man, we know that everything is, is from the Heavenly Father. All right. Given to his son, who is the mediator, all right, of, of, the, of, of man. All right. The Lord, the Heavenly Father gives it to his son. <clears throat> and the son gives it to the man. Okay, because we all listen and repeat after the son. All right, because we, no man can get to the father but through who? We have a Bashim, we have a shot, who was worthy and calls Jesus Christ. And let's give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Baha Kodash. All right, which is the true Paleo Hebrew name for the Heavenly Father and His Son, which the world today calls God and Jesus Christ. All right, let's give double honors to the elder and apostle of the great millstone. Okay, and citations to the head of my camp, Kazakwa Tijana here, Camp of Men of Israel, in Greenville, South Carolina. All right, and you know, I'm getting into, you know, uh, with the true meaning of songs in the Bible, man. With everything we, we hear and repeat, okay, because we repeat the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Heavenly Father, okay. This one doctrine that we believe, man, this is what we what we will continue to uh, manifest, all right, through the power of the Yahweh through His Holy Spirit, okay, whom He's chosen to have His knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay. This is Matthew chapter seventeen and verse five. You know, it's just you know going into Moses, man, how the Lord had told him to listen and repeat after him. The wisdom and how Moses was, you know, kind of being uh, rebellious at a at a certain time, man. And you know that represents us, you know, how we come in the truth and how we, you know, continue to grow in the Lord and being able to, you know, speak on the plow and you know make videos and how we grow in in the spirit, man. You know, this is something where we are um, becoming a song, where we coming, you know. Giving the word and 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 um prophesying, being the being the song uh, until the until you how about Shimi being the music until you how about Shimi giving forth his word and his glory, all right, and and uh, defending the truth, man. Okay, this is the songs, man, of of crying out to our people, you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, okay, telling you to come back and repent. Turn from your wicked ways. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. All right? So that you can be, you know, chastised and judged, man, so that you can turn from your wickedness and have salvation and everlasting life. Okay? And the heat warning of the last days and the, and the things that's to come, which is great destruction. All right? This is what we are to do. All right? The only are chosen. Only a few chosen will understand and hearken to the words of the Most High. You know, this is Matthew 17 and 5 says, While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, To, and said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. So we're supposed to hear the words of Yahweh Bashmi Okay? Okay. And this is what that in that time was when uh Esaias and uh I think uh James uh I'm not if um I know one of the disciples was with the Lord and upon a mountain and the Lord revealed himself, he transformed, all right, and he allowed them to see Moses in the size, I believe. It wasn't his size, but uh, it, it, uh, the Lord allowed them to see two prophets that was with the um uh, shot. Okay, and the Lord told them, and the Heavenly Father, hear ye him. And they fell upon their faces, man. We're supposed to listen and hearken to the words of the Heavenly Father. Okay, now that was given to his son, right? It was John the Baptist preached about, right? That he was going to come there and preach repentance, man. Okay, and this is this this is all while we have this grace period 
which we can, you know, repent and, and continue to grow and continue to have time to, you know, uh, meditate on the Heavenly Father, Yahweh to push this word to get it across the four corners of the earth so that he may so that he may come man and bring this nation down of wickedness and iniquity so that righteousness shall be set up upon the earth once again man so that shall peace and and, and nothing but peace shall shall heart the earth okay this is uh exodus 4 10 as i was talking about moses man all right so this is you know another uh, representation of listening and repeating of the heaven of the words of the heavenly father it says and moses said unto the lord O my lord i am not evident eloquent neither here for here the here uh heretofore nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant that i am slow of speech you know slow tongue and the lord said unto him who hath made man's mouth or who maketh the dumb or deaf or seeing or the blind have i not the lord all right and you know moses was trying to uh rebuttal with the lord about how he was not of a good speaker and how he how he would he would uh either forget his words or didn't sound uh would make a good fit to to be what the lord wanted him to be and the lord said have i not made you you know roughly perfect uh, you know roughly saying to him have i not made man you can't tell me you're not good enough if i came to you you know roughly saying and you know, and I take that upon today. You know, saying coming to this truth, you know, when the Lord has revealed, you know, the truth to you, and you become zealous, man. You know, and you want to speak, but you feel as though that you can't. You know, and you have all this energy built up. You know, but at the same time, you become very sorrowful and very, you know, dreadful at the time because you're scared that you will not make sense of anything that you understand and we all have that been in that spot man okay but we are to be a song of the lord man we have to be make sure that uh we continue to 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 give the works and the labor of the heavenly father man to be uh cheerful doing these things man even though they are vexing at times but they are very cheerful because we know when we heard this truth man we didn't sat and mope and whine man we was excited because it was something in us already that the Lord revealed to us, man, and it became more more predominant, man. It, it, it manifested, man. It, it, the Lord widened our vision and our hearing, man. He, he, he allowed us to see these things, man, that, that that we've been seeking it through the scriptures and seeking through him, man. So it is a blessing. But at the same time, you know, we all go through that spot where we're kind of ashamed to be picked or kind of ashamed to, you know, go forth and and, and 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 speak but we shouldn't be okay because Yahweh Shah Yahweh Bashmi Shah is gonna make sure that we get it done. He's gonna make sure that he he gives us the, the the encouragement and the the peace and the and the you know the sound mind to that so that we can continue to go forth through the ministry man through the gospel and, and push this truth to 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 push his works, man, to push his and glorify his name, man. All right, this is not for us. This is for him. Okay. Let me continue. And uh, this is Exodus four eleven it says, and the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth, or who has make the dumb, or deaf, or seeing, or the blind? Have I not the Lord? Verse twelve. Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. And you see that. The Lord shall be our mouth, man. Which what? Everything we say should be should be of the scriptures. Everything we preach, everything we we, we say shall be of the, of, of of His word, man, not of ours. All right, and, and nothing that we say of the Lord should come from our own understanding or our own way. You know, like these pastors and these churches do. Everything should be in scripture, breaking down line upon line, precept upon precept. Okay. <laughs> These are the things, these are the way of, of how we should do according to the Lord, man. When we bring forth his His words and his and his uh his prophecies, all right, we shall let the Lord be our mouth. Okay. <clears throat> let's continue. Alright, let's continue. Uh 
at verse 13, Exodus 4 and verse 13. And he said, O Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. For, for, verse 14, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, it is not Aaron, the Levite, thy brother. I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he see thee, he will be glad in his heart. Verse 15, and thou shalt speak unto him and put words in his mouth. And I will be with thy mouth and with his mouth and will teach you what ye shall do. <laughs> okay. And so this is when Aaron had met up with his brother, Moses. And Moses had told him what the Lord has given him. All right. And by both of them being together, the Lord will, be, will manifest in both of them, man. The Lord will, will speak through both of these two, these two men, okay? And they will do according to what the Lord tells them. And it says in verse 16, it says, And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be, even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of, of Yahweh. All right? He said, he shall be to thee in steed of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him in steed of your house. Okay? So Aaron is, is there to listen. Okay? Aaron is there to listen. And Aaron is there to repeat and listen from Moses, who the Lord is manifesting in him, to give Aaron the, uh, the words to say and to speak on whatever the Lord wants him to speak on. Okay, which is, you know, according to the laws. All right. And that's how the Lord does it in these camps. All right. In, in the camps that we're in now. All right. We have we have our head. All right. He speaks. All right. And, and we have the other brothers in the camp who also brings our precepts, man. All right. All of these things are still intact to this day. All right. Amongst the true men of the Lord, amongst the true righteous men, the Lord has sent in these last days to give his gospel and his word. All right, we're, we're still in the uh, ordinance of how he brought these things up to be. All right, and giving songs, man. And that's all I have on that. I hope everything was edifying. All right, and with that, shalom.